Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read and meditate on a very beautiful verse from the Bible as we read Psalm 50 verse 15 from the King James Version Bible. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us, guide us, help us, be with us, and bless us. Amen. Psalm 50 verse 15 says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Isn't that wonderful? Where our mighty God is, God of the living and not the dead, and all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38 is true. Also, we find the same word in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me and I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Yes, the word is life. The word is spirit. John 6 verse 63 is true. The word is living, beloved, and it is the truth. As we read in Revelation 21, these are not just words. These are living words. And I am a witness as at a particular stage of life. Yes, this word came true in my life. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Many times we have troubles, sorrow, sickness. We have ups and downs in life. But the word is true as even Jeremiah 39 says twice, I will deliver you. I will deliver you. When the word comes twice, it has been done. Yes, as we read in book of Daniels, the word says, Many, many, takel, paras, uprasan. The word has come twice. Yes, you have been weighed and you have been found wanting. Yes, also we read in Genesis 46, verse 2 and 3, the word says, God said to Jacob, 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 you shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Yes, we are Israel, prince with God, daughters of Zion. Yes, and also we are the friends of God, children of God, and also the ambassadors for Christ. Yes, we are in this world because God has a plan God has a purpose. As we read in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, the word says, even before he formed us in the womb, he knew us. Hallelujah. Yes. So do not quit in life. Do not give up in life, my dear brother, my dear sister. For the word is true, it says in Psalm 34 verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Hallelujah. Yes, the word says that those who look to him are radiant and the faces are never covered with shame. Psalm 34 verse 5 is true. And Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, and he delivers them. Hallelujah. When, when we wake up in the morning, let us wear the armor of God, that is, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes on, and sandals of gospel of peace. Ephesians 6.11 is true. Always behave courageously. 
As we read, the word is true. Second Chronicles 19 verse 11. As we read the mighty word in 1 Chronicles 14 10, it says, Seek the counsel of the Lord. How can we do that? By reading the Bible, the manna to our soul, the roadmap of life. Yes, and Jesus Christ will guide us. Yes, He is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14 verse 6 is true. Let us commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of our past, present and future. He will provide all our needs and also He will be our Emmanuel, God with us. Ebenezer, God will help us. And Yahweh, Ere, God will provide. Yes, He will provide all our needs. He is our Emmanuel. Yes, and also He is a banner. Ashunasi, as we read in Isaiah 11, verse 10. Yes, God is our banner. And also He knows our past, present, and future. As the word says in Isaiah 46, verse 10, from the beginning He knows the end, and nothing can stop what God has ordained for you. The word is true, as we read in Isaiah 14, verse 27. Every curse will be turned into a blessing for you. The word is true, as we read in Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. And there is nothing impossible for our living God. As we read in Matthew 19, 26 and Luke 1, 37. With God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. The word is true, beloved. Yes, as we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, He will take care of our past, present and future. However tainted your past may be, Jesus Christ is able to change you and me. He came in this world not for the righteous, but sinners for repentance. The word is true as we read in Matthew 9 verse 13. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. As we read in Hebrews 13 verse 8. We worry about the future, isn't it? What will happen to us? What will happen to our children? And who will be there with us tomorrow? But the word says in Matthew 6 verse 34, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Many are the cares of the day. Yes. The word says, Why take it thought? Matthew 6 verse 28. For the word is true, it says in Deuteronomy 31. It says, Yes. Verse 6. That he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. The word says, Be strong and courageous. 365 times in the Bible it is written, Fear thou not. For a mighty God hates cowardness. As we read in Revelation 19 2, chapter 21. Yes. Let us be bold and courageous. For a mighty God has promised us he will never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy. Yes, 31 verse 6 says. Also, we read in Matthew chapter 28. For the word is true, it says, All power and authority in heaven and on earth belongs to Lord Jesus Christ. Even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. My brother and sister who say their past have been a waste, the word reassures us. As it says in Joel 2, 19-27, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten, and you shall not be put to shame. You shall not be put to shame. Hallelujah. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Let us grow in the word of our living God and love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. The first commandment, as it is written, as we read Exodus chapter 20, it is written by the finger of God. Yes, we have a privilege, we have the Bible, and let us meditate on the word of our 
God. For He is the Prince of Peace. He is also our everlasting Father. He is a wonderful Counselor. And also He is a mighty God. Isaiah 9 verse 6 is true. Heavens and earth shall pass away, but His words will not pass away. Matthew 24 35 is true. Come what may, do not quit in life. Do not cave in, but be encouraged. For Jesus Christ is our salvation. Revelation 7 10 is true. And He will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters. And He will be our shepherd. The word is true as we read the mighty word. Revelation 7 verse 17. Yes, be encouraged. Let us bless his name for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68 is true in verse 19. And there are 20,000 chariots for each one of us and more. Psalm 68 verse 17 is true. For his name is Yah. He is the father of the fatherless and the defender of the widows. He will set the bound into prosperity and he will place the single in families. The word is living, beloved. It is true, I am his witness. Yes, it does not require any fees nor any sacrifice. The word says, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36, fear not, only believe. Hallelujah. Be blessed today and every day. Let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Lord, Father, and a mighty God, Abba Yahweh. Yes, we pray be with each of my brother, sister, children who are on the sick bed. Heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Your word is true. Isaiah 53 verse 5 and Matthew we read in 8 verse 17 it says you took our infirmities and carried our diseases the word is true heal my every listener we are Emmanuel God with us Ebenezer God will help us we are Yahweh Ire. as the word says God will provide Genesis 22 verse 14, Genesis 22 verse 8. We are Yahweh Shalom. Yes, as you are the Prince of Peace, as we read also in Isaiah 9 verse 6. Thy word is true. God will provide. Provide all the needs of my listener, whether it is for the house, for the finances, for the business, for the healing, for the breakthrough in their business, the marriages of their children, and also the education of their children. Also, you are the fountain of wisdom. James 1 verse 5 is true. Give each one the wisdom for a daily life. Thank you for answering our prayer. Bless the children, the youth with wisdom for their academics and help them to do well in their studies. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus.